My name is Tri Wangrang Simical. I am an infectious diseases and microbiology doctor. I am based up in Chiang Rai in northern Thailand, the uppermost, uh, northernmost province in Chiang Rai. And I mainly research a disease called scrub typhus. Scrub typhus is an infectious disease caused by a bacteria called Orientia susugimushi. And humans catch the disease through the bite of an infected chigger mite, a very tiny insect that you can barely see with the naked eye. And sometimes patients develop a skin lesion um, called an eschar, similar to a cigarette burn um, at the site of the bite. And it usually occurs in rural areas and agricultural workers are the ones at most risk. The disease is characterized by fever and the patients can have an eschar or not. And, it's, and patients also develop other non-specific symptoms such as rash, cough, um, swollen get glands, and or headache. The mortality of the disease ranges depending on where you are within the endemic area. So in northern Thailand, it can be as bad as 13%, which is quite high. The northern region accounts for 50 to 60% of these cases, despite only containing 20% of the population. So it is a major problem in northern Thailand. And scrub typhus, you don't develop natural immunity to it, which is long term. So if you live in the endemic area and you have ongoing transmission risk, such as in agricultural workers, you can catch the disease year after year after year. We treat scrub typhus normally with specific antibiotics, mainly the main one being uh, one called doxycycline, which has been around for um, a few decades. The problem is, it's none of these antibiotics are first line antibiotics. So if you or I develop a fever within the endemic area and go to the hospital, we're most likely going to receive another class of antibiotics similar to penicillins. And these antibiotics have no action against scrub typhus. The most important lines of research in relation to scrub typhus has been in epidemiology and diagnostics. Diagnostics of scrub typhus is actually not that easy. The rapid tests that are available have a range of accuracy, and the current one we're using is probably one of the better ones that we have, but it's just a screening test. What we need to do to diagnose scrub typhus usually is to collect blood from the patient when they're sick, followed by another blood sample maybe a couple of weeks down the line when they're better, and assess for the antibody levels in response to scrub typhus infection. And that remains the gold standard. It is a gold standard that's been in place for decades, and we need to do better. One of the areas where we're looking to, um, to improve is to provide a low-cost, accurate test for clinicians to use at the place where it's needed the most, i.e. in the district hospitals, in the clinics, within this endemic area. We talked about the Sutsukamushi Triangle, and it was such a surprise to hear reports of scrub typhus being diagnosed firstly from the United Arab Emirates in the Middle East, and even more of a shock to hear that cases were being diagnosed in Chile in South America. And there's also been tentative cases diagnosed from Africa. So this has really opened up the span of scrub typhus. It might be much more widespread than we originally thought. Scrub typhus is a neglected tropical disease. So neglected, in fact, that the World Health Organization does not have scrub typhus listed as one of the official diseases in the ne ne neglected tropical disease lists. And is a disease that's been under-researched and underfunded for decades. We are light years away from being in the position of other major diseases such as HIV, TB, and malaria. And the fact that drug resistance has been reported and, and the fact that there are no effective vaccines currently available means that we need to progress with what we're doing and actually accelerate the amount of research we're doing in scrub typhus. We have come a long way in developing new tests uh, for scrub typhus, particularly in the research setting where we need to be absolutely certain as much as possible that the patient has scrub typhus or not. Unfortunately, a scrub typhus vaccine that is effective and ready to roll out is still many years away. In Chiang Rai, the majority of our studies are clinically related studies aim at either answering clinically related questions and how we can improve the management of patients or will end up with improvements in diagnostics, in treatment. So we try to 
maximize the potential benefits from every study and we realize that we need to collaborate more and more, especially in an area which is underfunded.